Hello scholars, this is Mr. Shaw. Welcome to this week's art class. Um, this week's art class is going to be our last formal art class of the school year, but it's also a really, really important one. This week, we're going to be talking about another function um, that art can have here in our lives and in our world. Now, we have talked about on different times why artists make art. Sometimes they make it to tell stories about their lives or historical stories. Sometimes artists make art to transform objects or to decorate spaces or maybe to make things just look nice. But today, we're going to be talking about how artists can actually use their art to change the world, to work towards something called social justice, which means that all people, regardless of the color of their skin or what they believe or where they live, are treated equally especially here in America. Now, we've had a pretty um, interesting couple of weeks. We've had a lot of things going on. Some of them have been really scary. Some of them have been very positive, um, but they're all definitely things that we all need to talk about as a community. Now, you may have seen things that are on the news, or you may have talked about these things with your families. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend you take the time to do that. Um, and do that in a safe and positive way with the people that you love. But what I wanna talk about today is one of the things that I've been seeing a lot while I've been watching the news and while I've been trying to support my community. And I noticed that a lot of times people are using words and images to help educate people who need to open their minds and who need to think differently about the state of our lives here in America. Now, a big part of the Black Lives Movement is protesting. And a lot of times these protesters create signs or they paint words so that they can get their messages across. And this is not a new thing in history. In fact, it's something that artists have been doing for hundreds of years. Here are some examples of works of art over the last 300 years uh, here in America and across the world. And these are different ways that artists have tried to educate others about equality or educate others about dangerous things or harmful things. In the middle here, we see a painting by one artist that we've studied a lot at the Henry Johnson Charter School. It's an artist whose name is Horace Pippin, and he painted this picture in 1943. That was uh, about, he, or I'm sorry, um, about 80 years ago, actually. And we can see in this image, a lot of the same types of images and same types of ideas that we're talking about right now in the year 2020. This picture is called Mr. Prejudice. And Horace Pippin was a black artist who felt very strongly about the way that black people were treated differently, especially in the 1940s than white people. And there was a big difference in the fairness and equality in the way that black people and white people were treated. In this image, the way that it's split down the middle is showing that in a very, very clear way. And even though there are people here on the white side of the image trying to reach out and shake hands with people here on the black side of the image, Horace Pippin was trying to tell us that there was a problem and it was a problem that we needed to speak about. Almost a hundred years ago, a Spanish artist by the name of Pablo Picasso tried to educate the people in his country about the dangers of war. In New York City in the 1980s, an artist named Keith Haring tried to educate people about a disease called AIDS that was killing a lot of people. In modern times, an artist, uh, he's a street artist whose name is Banksy, and he uses graffiti art to educate people about racism and homelessness and other issues that affect his community. Even 300 years ago, when our country was first being founded, one of our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, used images and used artwork to say that if the original 13 colonies in America didn't band together, if the people of America didn't work together towards a common cause, that cause wouldn't be able to come to life. So as artists, as Americans, as just citizens in our community, we have to find ways to enact a positive change. We wanna make sure that we're educating people, that we're showing them a way that we can live peacefully with each other. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Mr. Shaw, I'm just a kid. What can I do to change anything? Well, this week, while I was educating myself, 
about some of the things going on in our country, I came across this wonderful, wonderful news report about a young man named Kedron Bryant and his mom. Now, Kedron uh, is just a kid like you. He's 12 years old, but he has a talent in music. And instead of just sitting home wondering about what he could do, he took something he was good at, and he and his mom wrote a song together. And I'd like you to take just a couple of minutes and watch this news report. Um, it was on CNN recently. And take a look at how he took something bad that's happening in the world, turned it into something positive, something that he could use to educate other people, and then spread it out into the world so that his positive message can inspire others to create change. You know, in addition to asking questions, there are also some amazing children that are using their voices to make their messages heard. That's right, Van. Like my friend Kedron. He, he wrote a powerful song with his mom, Janetta. Let's take a listen. I'm a young black man Doing all that I can To stand Oh, but when I look around and I see what's being done to my kind Every day I'm being hunted to this prey you know, Joining us now is the singer of that song, Kedron Bryant. Hi, Kedron. Hi, how are you doing? Well, we're doing we're great. Doing hey, thank you and your mom for sharing your song, Kedron. Uh -oh. How, how you. did you thank feel you. when you sang it? Um, I felt it's it's kind of sad to sing those lyrics because um, it's kind of unfair that, um, like the song said, we can go out and enjoy life. Um, so I feel that we can enjoy, enjoy life just like everybody else can. Yeah, Kedron, you, you've touched a lot of hearts. I think you've made a lot of people think with that powerful message. You're 12 years old. Uh, your videos had, I think, more than 3 million views. It's been shared by President Obama, by LeBron James. How does it feel knowing that your voice has impacted so many people? Um, it's, I never knew that it was going to go viral. Um, it was, it's, very, it's a very good feeling to feel that. Um, um, this is my dream and this is what God has called me to do. So, um, I feel really excited and happy, um, for that. Well, you know, your words are really powerful. You re you captured the moment. You. you really did. And you just seem to be speaking for so many people. Uh, what was in your heart, uh, then and now, what do you want to see changed? Um, I feel that, um, we could all change the world. Um, I want to see change in the racial, the racial profiling. We could all be equal. Um, we could all go out and enjoy life and not be afraid um, that something's going to happen to us. Mm -hmm. So I feel that we could all um, live life. Well, Kedron, you are such a good reminder of the power of young folks, young voices, and we're counting on your generation to work with us to make things better. What message Thank do you have for young people who might be having a tough time right now? What do you want to say to the young people? Um, I want to say to them, don't be afraid to speak up um, and don't let your anger get in control of your actions because um, that could lead to serious problems and we do not want to see that. So um, mm -hmm. we just keep your head up and keep the faith. Kedron, uh, you we know, really... Kedron, oh. I, I just wanted to say something. I just wanted to say to Kedron, what an inspiration you are. And I'm so Thank grateful you. to be able to hear your song, and your voice. Thank you, Big Bird. Kedron, thank you for sharing your gift with us. Thank you for joining us this morning, and thank you for your important message. Let's listen to some more of the powerful words in Kedron's song, I Just Want to Live. I'm a young black man Doing all that I can To stand Oh, but when I look around and I see what's being done to my kind every day, I'm being hunted to this prey. My people don't want no trouble. We've had enough strong goal. I just want to live. God protect me. 
So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did when I watched it. Um, but now we have to talk about what we can do. So one artist that I wanted to show you is an artist whose name is Shepard Ferry. Now he's an artist uh, whose artwork you may have seen before. Uh, his most famous work is a picture he painted in 2008 of President Barack Obama while he was running for office with a very simple image of the future president and the word hope. Now, over the past few years, he's continued in a very positive way, painting people who have used their talents to change their communities and to change the world and to use art to create social justice, to try to change the world in a positive way. Here, we can see three portraits of people. Now, this first one is a man whose name is Ishmael Nazario. And he started a program called Performing Statistics that allows young people in his city to create art to express themselves instead of having to express themselves in negative ways. His program has actually kept a lot of young people out of jail over the past few years. So he was featured in this painting by Shepard Ferry as a positive way to use your talents and to use your energy to enact a positive change in your community. This is a painting of a woman whose name is Amanda Gorman. Now her talent was writing and she took her talent in writing and her love of writing and used it to create a group called 826 National that helps young black authors publish their books and to get their voices out there so that they can spread positivity and change in their communities. This last painting that says, we the future are earth guardians is by a musician whose name is Shutezkal Martinez. And he uses his music to educate people about the state of the earth, about our environment, to help stop pollution and to help plant trees and keep our world clean. Now, the artist Shepard Ferry has actually painted lots and lots of people using these same types of positive messages. How can we change the future? Maybe you wanna to rise to rewrite the laws. Maybe you wanna run for office, go to Washington DC and change those rules that are unfair. Maybe you wanna to fight to end violence in your community or in your neighborhood. Maybe you wanna work alongside people to make sure that everyone has access to education or to books. Shepard Ferry made a whole series of these paintings, each of them featuring a person who had a specific talent or a specific skill but not only did he paint that picture of the person, but he also had a positive message. And that's what we're gonna be doing this week, is we're gonna create some portraits or self-portraits that use words and pictures to speak about how we can change the future, about the positive things that we can do to change our community, or maybe change the minds of people who can change our communities. So please take a moment to look at these pictures by Shepard Ferry, and then, you're going to be signing into Seesaw to complete this assignment, and I'll show you how you can use the template that I've provided to create a self-portrait of yourself. Think about the talents that you have and the skills that you have, or maybe just something that you believe in that you want to change in the world. And then I want you to illustrate it. And just like Shepard Ferry has done, if you have access to it, I'd like you to share your pictures um, with your parents' permission, of course, to try to educate people and to try to change the world, even if you just change one mind, that makes a very, very big difference out there in your community. So when you're looking for this assignment in Seesaw, it's called Art Social Justice. As always, you're gonna add your response, um, find your name, I'm using my fake student, Guinea Pig. And you'll see that the very first page that I give you in your template says, I can change the world by, and then it has a picture frame. And that picture frame is where you're going to be drawing a picture of yourself. Now, it could be you as a scholar, as a kid, doing something that you enjoy or something that you're good at just to help change the world in a positive way. Or if you'd like to draw your future self, 
Maybe one day you want to grow up and be the mayor of your city or maybe the president of the United States. That's perfectly fine. Maybe you want to be a musician one day and you want to write music that changes people's minds about equality and fairness and how to change the world in a positive way. Now, if you don't have any ideas or if you're struggling to think of what you could do, over here on the right, you'll see that there's a second page. And if you click on that second page, you can see just a list of ideas that you can use to enact change in the world. It says writing books about my thoughts. Maybe you're a good writer. That's a skill you have and you'd like to use it like that. You could draw pictures to educate others. You could just speak out when you see problems. You can become a leader and change the law. You could write a letter to your city leaders and you can ask them why they make the decisions they make and maybe suggest to them some better and more fair decisions for laws in your state or in your city or even in your country. You can stand by people who are mistreated. You can protect the weak. You can treat others with kindness. You could write or sing a song about your feelings or you could just try to change people's minds when they were wrong. Sometimes a conversation can make a lot of change. It seems very small, but if you change one mind, they'll change another, and then they'll change another, and eventually your whole community can start to change. So when I'm starting my picture here and I'm thinking about how I can change the world, um, one of the ways that I do that, or one of the ways that I try to do that is by educating you, my scholars. Um, I'm a teacher and that's something I enjoy doing and I hope that some of the things I teach you can help you be a little wiser and a little stronger when you go out there into the world. So I'm gonna use my typing tool and I'm going to type, uh, I can change the world by teaching the future leaders. Now, after I type that, I wanna go back and check. Uh, I wanna make sure I have a capital T at the beginning. I wanna make sure, uh, oops, is not going there it has to go here at the end and then if I click outside of that box somewhere I can actually change the shape of it and I can drag that down to the bottom of my picture uh, I can either have it in my picture like this or down here and then I want to draw an image that matches my sentence that matches that skill that I've um, that I've talked about so I'm just going to draw a picture of me teaching you it's been a long time since we've been in the classroom together and it doesn't have to be a picture of something that's happening right now. It could be something that you've done in the past or it could be something that you wanna do in the future. Now, it's gonna take me a little while to color this, so I'm actually gonna speed up my video a little bit. And then at the end, I'll pause it. I'll let you take a look at this and I want you to reflect on what is something that you're good at or something you're talented in that you would like to use to change the world because even a little change can make a big difference.